While most of Port Arthur is eerily empty, Larry Vills is still here, even though he'd rather be gone. We don't have no transportation to try and get her out of here. You that's, know. A, that's a pretty tough feeling. Yeah. His neighbors packed up and left on their own all day. It's a mandatory evacuation. You think all your neighbors have gone? I'm not sure, but won't risk it. The city had buses for those who couldn't. 2,000 people expected on them, some young, some old, all happy to be leaving. How worried are you about what will be here when you get back? Oh, I hope it's all here and not underwater. But not Vils, who told us his evacuation is even trickier. I have called two numbers, and we got turned down for buses because my mother has corona. And he is her caretaker. Both of them now stuck by the virus from fleeing the storm. They'll be some of the only people left in this city of 50,000 on the Texas-Louisiana border, hoping all of the now converging forecasts are wrong. I hope she break up. I hope Ms. Laura break up. You know, but I don't know. It doesn't look likely. The question now, not if it will come here, but how bad it will be.